Here we're going to do another example of an acid-base titration. Remember, an acid-base titration is simply a means by which you take an unknown acid or base. When we say unknown, we mean an unknown molarity, unknown concentration of acid and base, and neutralize it with a known acid or base, of course, the opposite of what you had to begin with. And so once you then neutralize it, you can then figure out the molarity or the concentration of the unknown. So in this example, we have an unknown base. We have 20 milliliters of ammonia, but we don't know what the molarity is. Ammonia will put out one hydroxide ion for every atom of ammonia. We have a known acid, meaning we know the molarity of this acid. This is sulfuric acid, and the molarity is 0.344, which means there's 0.344 moles of the acid per liter of solution. And we have 17.8 milliliters that we needed in order to neutralize this unknown quantity of the base, or I should say the unknown molarity of the base. Now, with sulfuric acid, we, sulfuric acid produces two hydrogen ions for every sulfuric acid molecule. Now the equation that we have here before us is the one that we're going to use to solve these types of problems. And once you understand this equation, you'll see how easy it is really to do this. So here we have the question, what is the molarity of the base? So sodium, I mean ammonia is a base uh, because when you put ammonia in water, it will extract a hydrogen atom, or I should say hydrogen ion, out of the water, making the water more basic. So in, that would then increase the ratio of the hydroxide ions to the hydrogen ions. So how do you find the molarity of the uh, base, the unknown base, uh, when you went through a titration like this? So you added enough acid to the base to neutralize it. All right, what you do then is you make this equation. If you're looking for the molarity of the uh, base, which the molarity is unknown, you put down the molarity of the known acid, in this case acid, and then you put down in the numerator all the particular uh, key elements of the equation that are the acid. For example, you put down the molarity of the acid, the number of hydrogen ions per molecule that are produced, and the volume of the acid you needed to titrate or to neutralize it. And then in the denominator, you put in the specifics of the base, which means you put in the number of hydroxide ions that the base produces per molecule of the base, and the volume of the base that you had. So, if the unknown is the base, then you want to put all the acid information on the numerator and all the base information in the denominator. If the unknown was an acid, then you want to put all the, um, all the quantities of the base in the numerator and the quantities of the acid in the denominator. So the next example will reverse everything so you can see it. Okay, now all we have to do is plug in the numbers and now will come the molarity of the base. So what was the molarity of the sulfuric acid? It's right here. So this is equal to 0.3. 4, 4 moles per liter, multiply that times the number of hydrogen ions produced, which is in this case 2, and then multiply times volume of the acid needed, which was 17.8 milliliters. So again, if you're looking for the molarity of the unknown, and the unknown is the base, you want to put all the acid information in the numerator and all the base information in the denominator. So now we divide that by the number of hydroxide ions produced per molecule, which is 1, and multiply times the volume of the unknown liquid, unknown molarity uh, liquid, which was 20 milliliters. 20 milliliters. And that will give us the molarity of the base. Let's find out. 0.344 times 2 times 17.8. And now we divide that by 20. And it looks like the molarity would be 0.612 moles per liter. So that would be the molarity of the base. And that's all there is to it. It's very easy once you get the hang of that equation.